Chicago. Our Lisa Balick is live at the airport tonight looking into this. Lisa? Well, health authorities say the exposure was on February 22nd. It was both at the Southwest check-in area as well as Concourse C, then on a Southwest Airlines flight to Midway Airport in Chicago. Now, the Oregon State Health Authority says the person was an unvaccinated Illinois resident who was diagnosed with measles when they got home. Now, the Centers for Disease Control obtained the plane's passenger list and contacted health authorities where they live to notify those passengers. We wanted to know the risk of catching measles to other passengers on other flights on that plane later that day. On airplanes, the air is circulated much more than in your average room. And so uh, we're pretty confident that with the entire exiting of the people from the plane, with the air exchanges that are going on anyway, by the time a new group got on, it's no longer going to be a threat. Now, we reach out to Southwest Airlines. They said today in a statement, our aircraft undergo regular cleanings in between flights and a comprehensive cleaning when the aircraft are parked overnight. Our cleaning program includes sanitizing, food services, and all hard surfaces within the cabin, as well as seat and carpet cleaning. Additionally, our 737 aircraft features state-of-the-art cabin air control systems, which inject fresh air into the cabin during the flight, while also filtering airborne particles. Now, with spring break coming up and lots of families about to travel in just a couple of weeks, we wondered which is better to do, to turn off that air nozzle above the seat or try not to touch too many things on the plane. I'll have that answer coming up tonight at 5. Live at the airport, Lisa Bailick, Coin 6 News.